All right, welcome everybody to Mudding 101. Here we have a ceiling that's been mudded. And the main issue is, well, all the screws have been taken care of, right? Yeah. So the screws were sticking out, but somebody stuck them back in. So I'm going to leave my uh, drywall screw gun for more boarding that needs to be done. We can just use that one. And it's a no-brainer. It's going to set every screw to the correct depth. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing. So the when you want to do a screw hole, you put it on and you wipe it off again. Okay, that's not a good example because it's been sanded. Over here, I haven't sanded. So the mud's put on and it's all scraped off. Mm -hmm. And there's no ridges. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you need to sand here? Yeah, huh? But this is actually a second coat because after your first coat, there's shrinkage. So here, that's a decent amount of mud, and then you can still see the hole because of the shrinkage. So that's good, versus this one, that it's Braille, you know? What message is written in here? So it's gonna be a very fun time to sand all those big areas. He's being facetious, so everybody knows that he's being facetious. About Braille? About being a fun time. Oh, right, not fun. It's not a fun time. It's a what pain in the butt. Off? It's a yeah. super pain in the butt. As flat as, as flat as you can. Right? Yeah. yeah. So that will still need to be sanded, but it'll be a yeah. sand versus a. Oh my God. Yeah. And now the other holes, right? In the case of this, right, where it's not yeah. lining up nicely, you can see there's movement still. Huh. So I don't know what's up here. Why didn't any of these screws hit a joist? Mm -hmm. But. It's a good idea to screw it in until you find it because mm -hmm. if that's going to have that play now, you're going to mud it well, and then a, it's going to crack. A, stud uh, finder. It's wood, so it's not going to work. Yeah, what? what? <coughs> no, we had the stud finder, <coughs> but it's wood, so. That works too sometimes because of density, not because of metal. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it was metal. But yeah, it knows. It's magical. So we have one. We're going to finish off money. Yeah, good. So there's all the. Mm -hmm. Textures and we don't want the textures. So before the next coat, that should be sanded, so that it's. So like the example, been yeah. this has not been sanded. Oh, no? No. no, this is my mudding from yesterday. It's a good quality. Well, I, I mean, we did okay. like we have the th third layer. Yeah. On this one. This is the third layer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This has been sanded. And, and we put a corner, metallic corner, and we put. Did you put a metallic there. corner? Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah on all corners. On all corners. Oh, good. Yeah. Here's a metallic that. corner too. Yeah, we need that. Okay. And, uh, so what is the use of it and why and do we, we do it? We put the paper and after that we, uh, we did two layers What of, is the uh, use of metallic corner and why do we do that? First we're going to finish off screw holes. Mm -hmm. Did we finish off screw holes? Well, this is your end result mm -hmm. of a screw hole. It's got a second layer mm -hmm. and everything was wiped off so there's very little sanding. I did have a sanding block. Yeah, like Can we take this uh, new chair out of uh, the sand area? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I give it. So the main thing with the, with the Thank you. Uh, screw holes and things like that is just to, to as little as possible. But minimum amount and yeah. smooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Popper and uh, subtlety. And just to blend it in, to knock it back a bit. And so uh, uh, most of these other mud holes or screw holes have like a texture to it. Like, so you're gonna have to be here for a long time. Yeah. And then you go like that and you go, I can't feel it, so move on. And it's always great to work with lots of light. And if you don't have light, get a light and put it beside you because then you'll see all the stuff you miss. Do we have that? Yep, travel light, yep. So that's screw holes. And then in the cape, case of taping, maybe we can do a demonstration. Uh, mesh tape is easier to apply it because you don't get ripples. This piece of tape did not have mud behind it, so it was all wobbly. Thank you very much, Anna. But if you have mesh, you don't get that wobble. But if you have mesh, then you've got this bumpy texture. So when you mud it, your trowel's going like that, and you've got more sanding if you're not pro at it. M uh, mesh in the corners is a bugger. So that's why I went with the paper, because it's easier for me anyway, but not, maybe not easier for everybody. So the issue so why do we do the taping? The two channels? The taping uh, gives you something, gives you support. 
And where do you want to see the table right now? Whenever there's a, a seam, we'll take the seam. But we're not going to take this one right now because there's all the crusties, the uh -huh. bumps and stuff. So we'll scrape everything as much as we can and then we'll sand everything. And then once it's got everything out of its way and nice and smooth, then, we'll do the then we can tape it. So I just did a little area here of this corner, but I wouldn't normally do a little area. This is for demonstration purposes. It'd be nice to do the whole length. Okay. And it's just one big long piece of tape is good. Yeah. Ideal. Uh, okay. The longer the better. Because now this tape is going to run into what's already been done, mm. and it, they're two different then levels. Mm. And then you sand until oh, then you hit the paper, and then you've got more of a mess. But it's. It's always less is more. Less mud down here is better. And less of everything is best. Like if the first stage is just to scrape it off and then come back next weekend, there's less accumulative error sort of thing. But I, I saw that I had mud there and I see that I'm squishing it out, so that's gonna be good. And if there's not the mud behind it, it, it gets all bubbling. So, uh, why don't we fill it up that gap in the back? Because not necessary. Huh? If it was bigger than the paper, mm -hmm. I don't need to do that. But this is going to cover it up. But the paper uh, is definitely that corner where it is gap is not very strong, right? That particular joint area. Right. Because uh, it's just right. a paper uh, covering. But because we've screwed everything down properly, like, there shouldn't be any movement. Right. Right. So it should be. So you should give a good finish. Even that big crack in the upstairs bathroom, mm -hmm. I would just paper tape it. I see. Like, how did that crack get there? If it keeps sagging, then we're gonna have issues. But mm -hmm. if it, there's no more sagging, paper will take care of it. Mm -hmm. So we don't fill in that gap with uh, some putty. Uh, yeah, you could, but don't need to, because the paper will be the backer. If you use mesh, you'd want to fill it back behind with something else to give you that support. So mesh is that plastic uh, net kind of thing. It's like this, but it's not solid. It's a mesh. <laughs> Just to recap, you want to put the tape up on top of the mud. Yeah. It's like you want to have as few steps as possible. You want to add a bunch of steps. The fewer steps, the less possibility for error. So that means you have to think about the steps. First you do this, and then you put the paper, and then you, like when, in a smooth stroke. You know what I mean? If you're doing well, it, you're scraping it. 10 times, it's more likely to be errors. I'm just sort of trying to recap or rephrase what you said. Is that Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> what I I'm understood sorry. is to not have too much mud under the mud. Mud. Too much yeah. mud. Oh, so you yeah. don't fill the gap. Or, okay, let's, let, yeah, you can get away with less. Mm -hmm. But there's a fine line. If you have too little, then it bulges out and mm -hmm. that's no good. And if I did have too much mud right now, I'd just scrape off a couple of times whatever I need to do until so that I don't have to sand that thing. And you scraped the paper too, though, right? To get excess out from underneath? So yes. Is that right? What yeah. I, what I I'm yeah. scraping up mud here. That's what I thought. Did you put mud in the crack, though? You don't put mud in the Yes, where you started. I didn't do it actually in the crack, I did it on the surface. It's okay. just yeah. the paper to stick to. Yeah. And then I'll squish it up of the, from behind the paper. But same thing, this can't be dealt with until all the crusties that are up there are, are gone. Be. And then there are corner trowels that are really tricky to use and we don't use them but that means we have a two stages to our corners so once we do that it's done for now and then that'll dry that way the second time you, the next day you come in and everything's dry you can just crust you know push off that little crusty and push off that little crusty and you've got something hard for this next angle if I were to try to put the next side to it I'd cut into this that I've already mudded. Mm -hmm. And so you those, always have that little divot. So those wood paneling they have, the angle oh, the see. paneling, that, that solves the paper purpose of the paper, you mean to say? Five minutes. Like I've seen some of the homes that it had a wood uh, wooden lining, you know, like oh, yeah. they corner. have a couple of Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we could do a crap job and then say let's just put a piece of corner to cover it up. Oh. Like a L shaped piece of wood or we don't plastic. Need to it would crap each other. Okay. <laughs> so once we don't need reasons. you're happy with one side, mm -hmm. and I can't see the tape, I mean I can a little bit there, but this is the demonstration purposes. Mm -hmm. And this, yeah, because it's so easy just to go 
yeah. like that, but who wants to send that? Yeah. I, 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 no, I don't. No, I no. Here. Rhetorical was that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to mention working with a clean uh, knife is awesome. Quality work. Because Quality piece. If I let this dry, there's going to get crusties in it, and I'm going to put some more mud on it, and as soon as I go like that, it's all crusty. Test. It's a craft. You could say it's almost a craft. It's, it is a craft. You need the poker too. Yep. Bags and bags of poker. Clean, cleanliness, carefulness. You need the carefulness. Yeah. Keep it moving or else it dries. And if you do scrape it and see that you've got all kinds of crusties, get rid of that. There's and only going to be more and more. Wash it off? At the yeah, end yeah, the of washings. Yeah, it comes off pretty easy. I really liked what you said about do it, about planning ahead so you do one day and you walk away and you let it dry so you get more structure. Right. So you can do the second day. Right. If you're doing corners, for example. Yeah. And maybe not day, like sometimes maybe the corners hours. take a while to dry. Uh-huh. So put the fan in here, get the air movement going to help it dry. Put a heater in here this to help a, it to dry. The point of the compound it's, it's I mean it took it took uh, uh, it took more than a weekend to dry, so we, we, we had to come and come back and come back. Stages, yeah, yeah, it's lots of stages. Yeah, and you have to count on that. So, Matt, did you the second plan part for it? So this is a finished sign. Once that's dry, we can sign, sand it, but it will need a second coat there. But then that's dry. All the corners in this room. Or not corners, all the seams in this room have the second coat of compound, so it's not a good place to demonstrate. The uh, edges of each panel is beveled, they come together nicely, like here. That's the where the bevel distance is. So when I'm taping this joint, I'll just put enough mud to, for the tape, I'll put the tape on. I'll squish it all out. So you put a tape on here too? Maybe I'll, maybe maybe I'll show it. Just a little bit of muck. What do you mean about things being beveled? Oh. It's, it's, it's beveled. Cool. It's cool. Yeah. Like There's a stick. bevel. That is a like joint is behind it. You have differences between mm -hmm. the, the edges. See this, this These one two is surfaces trying. are parallel. You have to come over here and look yeah. in the light. And then it bevels in. It drops a it's sixteenth cool. of an inch or something. So I scrape off. It's like engraved. It is. It's, 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 that's the way it is. It's curved. That's why we want to always have edges. These joints down. aren't beveled. So, so are because even. this is a little bit lower, our bit of mud sits, then our bit of tape Actually. sits, and a bit more mud sits. And by the time you've got all that on, it's the same, it's the same surface. Mm -hmm. Whereas I mean, this you case, level it up. you've got to put the mud on, then your tape, then more mud. So it's going to go... Gee, gee, gee. Like postulates do it. It doesn't have a depression for the mud to be built up. This is wide enough so that all of our tape oh, can see. fit into that bevel. And then a pass over it is, well, that's not a great example because it's not screwed really tight. But what I wanted to say about the seams was that the first coat will be just as wide as the tape, as wide as the trowel. And then the second coat you go wider with it. So you need a different instrument for the second coat, basically. You can't use that one. You can't use this one. Right. That's the way the shot is made. But even, yeah, I mean, you could still use a wider space. When you bring the two, you have this space to put the tape and 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 come from. After here, ah, I see. Oh, I see. You should take it down. Low depression. So, and after that, you have the same on the other side. So you have this to 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 put the tape and. Uh, but they always have that. Always. Oh, I know. So when you put the tape, it causes that. And there's a the right two side edges. And there is. And this is the wrong side. This is the, the side you go against. As we can see in the bedroom over here. I see. This is, this is uh, thinner and this is thicker. Here, here it is thicker. Here it is thinner. So ideal is to have two seams together that are beveled. But we don't always have that. Yeah, because some of them have been cut. Yeah. And the edges are, Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's four by four. I mean, it's because of the size. Right. The mask not always. Yeah. 
ends up. Okay, but if you have the choice, let's say you have an uneven piece here, and you have the choice of putting the beveled edge here or there, you'd want to put it there. Yes, because okay. this will get hidden with trim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Good. All right. Anything else on the demo? This is a gondola. Oh, so that has to be screwed. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. yeah, it's been screwed. Right. And so, <laughs> just to be careful with it. Yeah. And screwed. Uh, screwed. But in that case, are we screwed? And then you have to do the paper along the edge of the. No, you're making no. the. Just the mud it up. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Yeah. I put okay. Good. Oh, okay, I wondered why there was paper. Yeah, I thought it was just good. paper and there was metal back there. No, it could be on top. Okay. Put it in two. Yeah. Right. Okay. And okay, thank you very much, Matt. It was a wonderful demonstration. Bravo. 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 Okay, one of the things one of the things that plasters use times is a handle underneath a flat Hawk. surface. Yep. Yeah. And it's just as good as this, but it gives you more surface for mud. Right. Sometimes and that's a video hawk. I'd like to see. It's called what? A hawk. Because it's backwards. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you gotta do the whole thing. Right? Yeah. The whole. We have to we have to mud the whole wall because. Yeah. Okay. So pulling it out. So right. it's all going to off and oh. try to get it as flat well, as you I can. can. It might be two two layers. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. If you make it a bit wetter, the Just mud it's easier to go on. Know. It's thinner. It's less sanding. Less. Right. Differences in the sure. And you can just just add water, water. and sand the hell out. Yeah, Often yeah, it'll yeah. be uh, Truck. you can stick your trowel behind the whole thing. Let's <laughs> <out. laughs> so go. Oh yeah. Oh, like, no. So just put some more muck back there and squish it. Um, yeah. Squish it down. Yeah. And then push it back up, and it's fine. The paper is fine. Yeah. Okay. So it's just to sort of it didn't have any glue left. Got it. All right. I got to move a car. All right. Oh. So is it easy to tear the paper when you do that? Yes. Yeah. But it's, it seems to be okay to tear the paper. Yeah. As long as there's mud to keep it where it needs to be, then it'll dry. And then, and then we'll do another layer over top and hide all that imperfection. Yeah.